Eve went with Adam, and with a father angel, this person says, that produced one through baby. I know you, I know you dissect God's word. Is this true? No. No. Amen. Amen. No. no. No, it's not. Angels not coming down here and making babies. No, no, no they're We're not. We're making them. That's right. Am I right, men? Amen. Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. Amen. Angels. Hey guys, before we continue, I found that 93% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos populated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get right to it. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Now, where does angel come from? The angel. No, there wasn't no angel visiting Eve. No, it wasn't. Eve was occupied with Adam. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Did you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Right. Okay. To better understand the transgression of the fallen angels, we must observe the state of Adam and Eve before and after they transgress. First of all, time did not begin until Adam sinned. So there was no sequence between Genesis chapter 3 in Genesis chapter 6. So the key words are time, seed, and fruit. Okay, make note of that. And they, Adam and Eve, did not even know that they were naked prior to eating of the tree, the proverbial tree. Okay, remember the tree had knowledge to make one wise and die from the knowledge they learned. So the fruit they ate was knowledge of secrets, okay, secrets that they were privy to, because after Eve sinned, we learned that the serpent has a seed, and Eve is cursed with sorrow and conception, but let's continue. Now, the question that they asked have very much significance to it, because a universal lie been told on the angels right. oh, yeah. in heaven. Right, right. In the sixth chapter of, of the, the book, book of, Genesis. of Genesis. And begin in verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass when <clears throat> men began, when men. When men, that's the subject. Yeah. When men. This is the subject. It came to pass. This is the subject of, you see, this is the subject of, of the sentence here. That's right. Flesh, flesh. Do you get what I'm telling you? Right. I, I want to establish what is. That's right. right. Listen good. And it came to pass when and men. It came to pass when men. Began to multiply began on the face of the earth. To multiply on the face of the earth. And daughters were born unto them. Daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. The sons of God saw the daughters of men of now men. the subject was first the multiplying of the men that's right huh? that's Man. right you got to have some men being born so they can be able to get them women that was out there that's right the angels was in two places mm -hmm. glory right. take god that's glory to god mm -hmm. right. the angels of god was in heaven amen the backsliding angels were in chains of darkness chains. That's right. okay see how he twisted up the scriptures we already know that Job chapter 2 states that the sons of God and Satan came to present themselves before the Lord. Now the scriptures explain why those angels backslided and were locked up in chains of darkness. But first, why didn't God lock up the serpent, uh, the dragon, who deceived Eve? How do you distinguish demonic spirits from fallen angels? Where did these evil spirits come from? particularly the legion of demons mentioned in Luke chapter 8. Okay, how did demons get access to the blood of men? Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 says the life of the flesh is in the blood. Okay, so we know that number one, Eve would periodically lose blood and she would lose life after she proverbially ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Adam transgressed. But he did not inherit the same curse that Eve inherited. <laughs> and we know, number two, that 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, it clearly says, he who commits fornication sins against his own body. So Eve received a curse against her body. Okay, she didn't sin with Adam because Adam was her husband. So number three, 
How did the serpent produce a seed? And number four, how did demons get access to the blood of men? And since we already established that life is in the blood and blood is what makes covenants, i.e. the blood of Jesus. Okay, the blood of Jesus is a covenant for the remission of sins. So, according to Genesis chapter 6, Genesis chapter 3 was officially when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. Eve was among the women whom the angels went into. This is where the serpent seed originated from. But let's continue. Right. Let's go back to Genesis, then I get to the prison afterwards. That's right. Come on, son. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, mm -hmm. and daughters were born unto them. What is it? That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Yes. And they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Now, this is what your preacher have taught. Mm -hmm. That these angels supposed to have gotten these women pregnant right. were the falling angels. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what is taught now. That's right. right. That the angels that was placed out of heaven, they came down to the earth right. and started laying with women. Right. No, they no, the, them fellas, uh, them angels, they locked up. Locked That's up. Right. No That's one right. put parole. Okay. He does not address the time continuum. Time is in place of the word begin. Okay, that word begin is mentioned in the first verse of Genesis chapter 6. This means the fallen angels corrupted the blood of men over a period of time, but it began with Eve again. God locked those angels in chains of darkness because he made preparations to flood the earth and limit the spread of demon DNA. This is why Christ told the Pharisees, in John chapter 8, you are of your father, the devil, followed by he, the devil, was a murderer from the beginning. So why were the Pharisees of their father, the devil? And why was the devil a murderer from the beginning? Okay, we know that the Pharisees did not accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So there was no remission for their sins. Again, this is blood covenant stuff, okay? Because the blood of Jesus cleanses the DNA to be holy and acceptable to God, okay? So the devil was a murderer from the beginning, aka time, because through the defiling of Eve's DNA, he murdered her, okay? Adam and Eve, they were immortal prior to eating from the proverbial tree. No. no. They're not, they're not built out either. No, no. Listen at this now. Right. Jude chapter 1 and at verse 6. They want to refute all this false teaching. Listen, Amen. the truth of God is designed of God to correct that which have deviated. That's right. Did, did you get what I said? That's yeah. right. It is designed to correct all teaching that have deviated. That's right. Now listen, let me tell you where the falling angels are. Jude right. chapter 1 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. And the angels which kept not their first estate. The first estate of these angels were holy. That's right. They didn't keep that. But left their own habitation. They left their own habitation. He has reserved God an he, everlasting change. He, God, is one. That's right. He has reserved those fallen angels in everlasting chains. Under darkness. Under darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. They're not free yet. No. They're all in bondage until judgment time. That's right. right. So you preachers that been saying that the fallen angels then came and laid with women and got the women pregnant so they can have children. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 11, God asked Adam, who told you you were naked? Adam knew nothing about good and evil prior to eating of the tree. So we know God didn't tell him. So to better understand, we must go to the book of Enoch chapter 8. Okay, it says, Moreover, Azael taught men to make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, the fabrication of mirrors, and the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint, the beautifying of eye eyelids, the use of stones of every valuable and select kind, and all sorts of dyes, so that the world became altered. Impiety increased, uh, fornication multiplied, and they transgressed and corrupted all their ways. A Maserach 
taught all the sorcerers and dividers of roots. Okay, he taught them root cuttings. Armors taught the solution of sorcery. Barkayil taught the observers of the stars. Okay, you know, like what's your zodiac sign and all of this witchcraft that they still teach to this day. Okay, Akabil taught signs. Tamael taught astronomy. And Azaradel taught the motion of the moon. And men being destroyed cried out and their voice reached to heaven. Okay, so we already discussed how Eve was murdered because of her intimacy with the serpent. Adam was cursed by God for hearkening to the voice of his wife. But what exactly did Eve share with him, her husband, and what did she tell Adam to do? Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 says she gave to her husband and he ate. Now, by now, you should know that what he ate wasn't a literal fruit. Also, this implies that Eve received knowledge of the secrets before Adam. Enoch chapter 69 gives us more information. But it, you got to watch the other video to uh, get the details of what I read in Enoch chapter 69. Okay, I already read that passage, so go and see my other video uh, talking about how Eve was killed by the serpent. Was she murdered by the serpent? So, the serpent, whom was, again, I established in another video, the serpent was a conglomerate of fallen angels. Okay, the serpent taught Eve to teach Adam how to kill with the sword. She taught him how to do battle with arms and shield. So, when God said, you hearkened to the voice of your wife, he was referring to the evil wisdom that Adam began to meditate on. So just like Eve, the punishment would have to fit the crime. God had to shorten the days of Adam because his heart was filled with violence and he even learned the smitings of the noontide heat. This is why God cursed him with fatigue and the sweat of his brow because the sun would strike him every time he worked until the day that he died and returned back to dust. And I believe that this would offset man's lust for violence and for sex because it was the fruit, the curse from him digesting that knowledge from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's right. God awoke the sons of men. That's right. That was doing it then. Mm -hmm. It's the sons of men. Amen. That's still doing it now. And it came to pass. It came to pass. When men began to when multiply. When men began to multiply. On the face of the earth. Well, you look at the scripture where it said the sons of God. Right. Sons of God. That's right. The reason why men is called sons of God because it was made in God's shape, God form, and God image. That's it. That's false. He's just leaning on his own elementary understanding. I mean, he don't study his Bible or understand the deep things of God. In fact, the very first one that was called the son of God was Adam. Adam, that's right. You better right. give me the book of Luke real quick, Luke son. chapter 3 Amen. and at verse 38. Yes, and at this television viewers. Luke 3 and verse 38. Come on. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of God. You hear that? That's right. Sons of God have a twofold meaning. There are the angels and men whom are the sons of God because they were created by God. But Genesis chapter 6 said the daughters of men, but it did not say the sons of men. So he's taking it out of context. Okay. Like I said, you have to see the other video to uh, go deeper into this revelation. The devil, again, does not give easy answers. And he does not get screwed on the deals he makes with men. And clearly, he's made a deal with Pastor Geno Jennings. That's why you got to read the invoice of the Holy Scriptures and study to show yourself approved.